So we may or may not try cutting beans today. We might push it off till tomorrow. But before we even start harvest on either soybeans or corn, we need the weigh wagon to calibrate the yield monitor and the uh, active yield sensors that we have in the combine. But before we can use the weigh wagon, we still have rye in here. And uh, so we need to get that out of here. So we're gonna empty the rye out. And I don't know, the wind's starting to pick up. So more likely we may start harvest today. today's uh what september 23rd i know for a fact though it's the first day of fall so i guess we could mark the first day of fall as a kickoff to harvest 2019 uh testing 13 5 13 4 ish i mean that's what the monitor's saying obviously we don't have the monitor calibrated still with the active yield we tried with the weigh wagon and 
I don't know. They don't have something set right in this combine still. I'm. They were supposed to come out today and set the combine up with that new tech, but they still don't have the parts in to do that. So they're possibly going to come out on Wednesday. I mean, we're going to be starting on the custom harvest work, at least on the corn side of it. At least we're shooting for Thursday or Friday. So, all I can say is I hope they're here on Wednesday. If not, I don't know. As far as yield goes, I mean, they're doing all right. I mean, obviously this is pure blow sand out here and it burned up. But these were planted relatively early. They were planted... April, if I remember right, April 26th, the tail end of April here. And uh, honestly, we're pretty impressed with these, how they held up this year. I would say just without no calibrations and anything, and just by looking at what's coming in the tank and how much we've cut, I would say these are running about 40, which... I'd be happy with that. I mean, considering this is non-irrigated again. And eventually, once we get that woods out, like I talked about in the last video or the uh, previous videos, uh, we'll end up putting a pivot about right where I'm standing and put a pivot in that backfield. We're hoping, if all goes well, uh, get this field done tomorrow along with that backfield hopefully done tomorrow that all depends if john deere comes out when they say they're supposedly going to come out if they come out tomorrow then things will change obviously since there are they are talking a chance of rain 40 percent chance on wednesday but you know in the previous video i talked about having a chance of rain yesterday on sunday and gee we got a whopping tenth of rain as far as wheat goes we still have to plant that wheat yet we still have to get our wheat yet from tipton it's still down at the plant yet hopefully we'll get our wheat later this week and we can start planting wheat after we get a relatively decent shower you know what's a decent shower now kind of like what's a normal year like i said hoping tomorrow we'll get both these fields done and maybe we'll get the fertilizer spread on these two fields this one and the one over that i worked and uh get the wheat planted whenever we get our wheat really but we are going to come in and vertical till this we vertical till all of our bean stubble uh before we go in and plant wheat just because uh, we feel it helps incorporate the fertilizer a little bit better still trying to get used to this new combine or new to us i should say there's stuff on here that we probably should still calibrate i don't know you can calibrate the beacon lights on this thing i mean i'm assuming it has something to do with correlating with the grain tank on how full it is the technology in this thing is unbelievable especially coming from the combine that we had to this combine it, it's unbelievable <music> going to be it for this video because you can kind of feel it in the air already it is starting to get pretty cool and you can feel the dampness in the air and the beans are starting to get tough so we're going to call it a day and uh we'll start back tomorrow and uh i don't know see how this week goes <laughs> so uh i'll catch you guys in the next video then